eat and eat and eat and treats. Hello and welcome to the Joy Holiday Channel. Today we are celebrating our fathers. We care about our fathers. So today we're focusing on some delicious and healthy and yet filling recipes. We're doing some grilled meats and some delicious salads. I am preparing a pineapple marinade for our grilled steak and chicken today. Um, I love pineapple because it is great and delicious, uh, but it also helps with digestion, it reduces inflammation, um, it's just an all around healthy fruit for you. So when I'm cleaning my pineapple, I really like to save the top of the pineapple because it's great for decor, you can put it in the middle of a platter for later, um, it's just very decorative, so we'll just leave it there for the meantime. So you cut off your top and you cut off the bottom. Now we are going to remove the outer part of the pineapple. I prefer to use a serrated knife. It makes the job a little bit easier. You also want to go ahead and remove all of the brown spots off of the pineapple. Those are the prickly parts that just don't taste good. Now once we have our clean pineapple, I like to go ahead and cut it in half. Once you have removed the flesh part of the pineapple, you can go ahead and remove the core as well. And then we will just cut it into chunks for our pineapple marinade. Now that we've removed the skin of the pineapple, we will go ahead and remove the core of the pineapple. Now we will go ahead and just cut it into chunks for our pineapple marinade. I have a yellow onion here. I've already peeled it and we're going to be using half of it for our pineapple marinade. Now you can just cut it into large chunks because we're going to be blending all the ingredients so there doesn't have to be a, a, fine, a fine dice to it. For the pineapple marinade, you will need pineapple, half an onion, garlic. We are using a horseradish mustard today for any of you out there that have a pepper allergy. That way we add a little kick to our pineapple marinade. We also have our gluten-free soy sauce. For any of you out there that have the celiac or a gluten intolerance. As well as olive oil and a pinch of sea salt. Now we are going to blend our pineapple marinade. First we will add our pineapple. Now, pineapple is great because it helps break down the protein. It has an enzyme where it will actually help tenderize your meat, whatever you're marinating. Whether it be steak, chicken, fish, whatever you prefer. So we have our pineapple, we're gonna add our onion. I like to add all of my solids first. Then we'll top it with our liquid. We have a little bit of our horseradish mustard. Do about a tablespoon. To our pinch of sea salt. Now you're more than welcome to add jalapenos if you want to kick it up a couple notches. We also have our gluten-free soy sauce. There we are. We have our olive oil. And I've also brought in a little bit of water just in case it's a little too thick. And we can just thin it out with a little bit of water. And we have a quarter cup of olive oil. And you can use whatever oil is your preference. You could add some coconut oil in here and really bring it to the tropics if you'd like. All right, so let's give that a blend. All right, that consistency looks perfect. Now we'll just give it a little taste. Ooh, delicious. A little sweet and it has a little kick with that mustard. Now we're ready to marinate our meats. Now that our pineapple marinade is blended, 
We are going to set half of it aside for our marinade for our meats, and we are going to save the other half for our salad dressing. Here we have our filet tender loin. Uh, normally when you see it also in the store, you can have your cuts already pre-cut for you, but we like to cut our own here at the Joy Holiday Channel. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, fabricate some filets out of the tenderloin. So now I like to reserve the ends cuts. You can cut those up and use those for stir fries, uh, for beef stroganoff. And this tenderloin looks pretty clean. It looks like they've cleaned off all of the silver skin. There's just a little bit left here. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that. That just makes the meat just a little chewy. So we'll just remove that. And we'll go ahead and we'll make our fillets. So I like to portion them out. For our dad, we wanna make sure that we give him a nice healthy portion. So we'll make these larger. Beautiful. Now these are ready to marinate. We have our fillets. Now we are going to pour our marinade and marinate those. I would say minimum four hours, but you could do it overnight as well. So we have fillet here, but feel free to use any cut of steak that you prefer, or as I said before, chicken, fish. We're just gonna zip this up, give it a little toss to make sure all the marinade is coated with the meat. We'll place that in the refrigerator and we will check on that in the next couple hours to get ready to cook. Searing our fillets now that they have been marinating in our fridge. We have a nice hot pan here with some olive oil. You can also use bacon fat, you can use clarified butter to sear your steaks, whatever your preference is. Now when searing your steaks, you wanna make sure that you give enough space in the pan so that way you're not steaming the steaks, you're actually giving them a really nice sear to sear in all of those delicious juices. Now that our steaks have been searing for about three to four minutes, we're gonna go ahead and flip them and sear them on the other side. So we're looking for this nice golden brown color. Now that our steak has been seared on both sides, we're gonna finish it in the oven at 350 degrees. For medium rare, I would say about five to 10 minutes. Medium, 10 to 15. And past that, you're on your own. We're gonna place them on a sheet pan. We're gonna place a little bit of butter on top of each, and we'll place those in the oven. Now that we have our complete Cobb salad Bildrone bar ready for dad, let's make him a plate. We will start with our lettuce. We have some delicious butter lettuce here. I love the butter lettuce. It's just delicious. You can also use romaine, spinach, whatever your dad prefers. Then we'll add a couple cucumbers. We'll make it look nice and pretty for dad. Some tomatoes. This is gonna be a nice filling salad for dad. Lots of protein. We have some of our hard boiled eggs. Some bacon 
because we know every dad loves bacon. Some of our chicken that we had marinated in our pineapple marinade, some avocado. Now really you can build your own to whatever your father's liking is. I just know that this is what my dad's gonna enjoy. Some feta cheese. You're more than welcome to have mozzarella. Blue cheese would be amazing on this salad as well. Let's top that off with some delicious steak. Some fresh herbs we have here. Oh, that looks beautiful. We will finish it off with our tomato, watermelon, and strawberry salad. We have also made a apple pie that we are going to taste. This looks delicious. Now this is from our apple pie filling that we made for our Mother's Day. But we made Dad a delicious apple pie this time. Still piping hot, fresh out of the oven. Serve it with a little apple pie a la mode and it's ready to go. Let's give it a taste. amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I just want to wish all of you fathers a happy Father's Day. Please join us again on the Joy Holiday channel. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Eats and eats and eats and trees.